A massive thanks to today's video sponsor, Skillshare, the online learning community for creatives. Right, in the video that uh, I posted before this video, I announced the relaunch of my website, planetofdreams.co.uk. Uh, Planet of Dreams is basically a free car competition website. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining to you how you can win this BMW 330D for nothing. Right, before we get on with this video, a quick shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And as I mentioned in a previous video, without sponsors, stuff like what's happening in today's video wouldn't be possible. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators where millions of people come together to set their next step in their creative journey. You know there's that saying, do something you love and you'll never work another day in your life. Well, we've all got hobbies and passions, right? And Skillshare's got thousands of classes that might help you enhance on the knowledge that you've already got on your hobby or passion. And it might just give you that push that you've always needed to do your hobby or passion as your daily job. Well, if you look at me as an example, that's exactly what I've done. I enjoyed making videos and I've made a career as a YouTuber by following my passion. If you go on Skillshare, type in video editing as an example, you'll be faced with loads of classes from various creators where you'll be able to gain knowledge on that subject. If we look at this fella here, Ali Abdul, his class consists of 33 lessons. It's just three hours long and I guarantee, don't matter who you are, after watching this, you'll definitely gain knowledge on this subject. And you know what, the list of classes they offer for various subjects is endless. Whether it's graphic design, web development, crafts, or even photography, I guarantee Skillshare have definitely got a class that suits you. It's dead easy to join their community and you can join for as little as seven pound a month. And Skillshare are kindly offering the first 1,000 people that click the link in the description below a free two month trial to use their platform. Guys, a two month free trial of their premium membership. It's a bit of a no brainer, isn't it? You may as well just give it a go and see how you get on. Explore your creative side, yeah? Hit the link below and get on it. My whole life has sort of <laughs> evolved around BMWs at the minute. I'm driving, daily driving the X6M, which I absolutely love. I've obviously got my, my uh, BMW M6. I'm building an E46M3 Touring, and uh, I've got other E46s as well. And this, of course, in front of me is uh, an E46 330D, which I bought, a lot of you know this anyway, I bought a few months ago as a scrap car for 100 quid, and I basically, spent a bit of money on it, tidied it all up to make it a nice car what it is today. So um, when it came in, I, I thought, I know exactly what I want to do with that car. I want to get it right, and I want to give it away to one of you lot. Like, it's, it's quite a nice thing, it? 330D, it's obviously a Touring, still got the roof rails on top. The mileage, let's see what the mileage is. I can't even remember what the mileage is. Get the key out. It is dirty inside, ignore that. I did actually clean it when I bought it, but um it's it's got dirty again understandably whilst we're here control custom steering wheels let's turn that radio down mini display oh, that's got to be worth a small fortune i've actually never seen one of them in any car in my life 163,000 miles so it's got lovely mileage a uh, bit of rust on the arch and uh that trim there seems to have fallen off but yeah when i bought it it had no mot uh it, it was a bit rough and we've had quite a lot of work done to it. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you, I suppose, about the car, talk to you about a problem that we've got with the car right now, which is gonna be fixed, hopefully, in this video. And secondly, we're gonna be talking to you about how you can win this car, right? So let's quickly talk about what's been done. So we've had the MOT done. I spent a bit of money on the MOT. It needed a bit of welding underneath somewhere. Can't look, I ain't got a bloody clue where. Um, so we've got it for an MOT. It needed tires, didn't need tires for an MOT. They weren't an MOT failure, but they were just, I nearly swore then rubbish tires and to, to get the car tuned we need to put a decent set of tires on it so I went out and bought top-notch tires Michelin Pilot Sport 4s all right just for the rears the fronts are fine as you can see got great tread on the front but they're budget tires on the front but yeah so we've got decent rear tires a good MOT it failed on the MOT on um, a windscreen Pete at Simply Screens, uh, he's obviously a guy that fits windscreens, come out and put a windscreen in it for us. So that solved that problem. Tune in, we then got it tuned. It was uh, stock form there, 180 odd BHP, I think 184. 
Um, this car was somehow 200, just over 200 brake, and we've tuned it to 225 or 230, there or thereabouts, and that was done by VRS in Northampton. And in fact, VRS in Northampton, if you don't know who they are, I'll link them in the description below. Uh, Wheel at VRS is a friend of mine. They've put a lot of time into this car to get it to the state it is in today. So it is now a very, very nice car. The wheels, uh, they actually came on the car when I bought it. A lot of people were saying, Calvin, I want to buy them wheels with you. Let me just give you money for them wheels. There is absolutely no way can I take them wheels off that car? Look how good it looks. Let's go around the back because this back corner just, it just looks amazing. Oh, we nicked a, a wiper linkage as well by, off of one of my M3s because uh, the wiper motor weren't working either. So, yeah, look at it from that angle there, man. That is a cool looking car. So, no, I don't want money for my wheels because I want to keep them on there because I want to give them away with the car. So, on the interior, let's go back to the steering wheel because these guys deserve a lot of love because they give me a lot of love. Um, they've done the steering wheel right there uh, there's no there's nothing in it for me i just get to give you lot a nice car with a nice steering wheel so it's the original steering wheel that came on the car as you can see the horns a bit and boy, the badge there's a bit rough but the steering wheel has been retrimmed by a control custom steering wheel we've gone for alcantara uh alcantara, alcantara wheel the end blue and red stitching with a leather blue leather ring at the top there so looks amazing please show these companies love i'll link everyone in the description below like i said there is nothing in it for me i just want to give away a car right and i want the car to be decent so this car is now gonna go up on my website planetofdreams.co.uk and if you want your chance to win it all you've got to do is go to the website sign up and enter the competition it's one co do you know what? let me spin the camera around quick that's better so do you know what? i've actually bought myself a new camera because all this flipping the camera around flipping the mic around it's just a palaver so i've bought a new camera i will still use this camera because it's great uh, but i'm gonna have a second camera for doing this type of stuff so yeah um yeah if you want to win this car go to my website planetofdreams.co.uk it's free to enter this unlimited amount of entries but not per person each person can only enter once and if i find out that anyone's entered more than once they'll be banned from using the website all right if someone wins if someone actually wins this car and i discover that that winner's entered into the competition twice somehow i don't think it'd be possible but if there is a way um you won't win it it's as simple that as simple as that i don't want to um, eliminate or give people less of a chance of winning it's about everyone being reasonable everyone being fair and everyone having the same chance of winning a prize all right on that website you'll see other competitions uh where you can win all other stuff sorts of car related stuff by the time this video goes live there might be less on there there might be more but today there's a few good little options on there um, when this video went live as well, a competition for control custom steering wheels went live on that website to win the chance to get your steering wheel retrimmed. All right, so if you want to get your wheel retrimmed in a way that I've had that one done, go for it, man. Enter that competition, and you might your name might get pulled out of the hat, and you could win the the prize for getting your wheel done. All right, so um, yeah, let's quickly talk about the problem. The problem with this car right now is. We had it tuned, right? And it's been tuned, it's nice power, diesel power, loads of torque, about 400 odd pounds feet of torque, is that right? I ain't got a clue. Um, somewhere along them lines, good level of torque, and uh, basically, it's still got a stock clutch in it. And when I collected this car from VRS on the day that we tuned it, I drove it home on the motorway. On the motorway, it, I drove it home on the motorway in traffic, right? I'm not saying traffic, it's sort of like the 60 mile an hour zone, you can't really do much. So I just sort of poodled the whole journey home, right? I then drove it to work the next morning, which is where I am now, right? I drove it in and uh, on my journey to work, some nice little country lanes, I'd done it within the speed limit, gave it some, gave it a, Bit of, bit of stick and notice that the clutch was slipping of course it would be wouldn't it because we're running a bit more power than normal and the car actually works correctly now um now that wheel at vrs has sorted all the little issues out so what i've done is um a company that i've worked with before that i do a lot with uh, universal clutches in luton i'm a luton man myself born and bred in luton i love luton very proud to be from that town and universal clutches are like the main clutch center in luton and they've offered to do a clutch on the 330d which is amazing so it means that now this car can have all of these wonderful things new mot new tires new steering wheel retrim loads of tuning done by vrs uh, new windscreen by simpler screens 
and we can even get a new clutch in it for you. So before I give it to you, I'm gonna make sure that clutch is gonna get fitted. Oh, sorry, let me just stop you there a second. Um, there's something else I'm gonna be doing to the car as well. Just a small thing, but it's also gonna involve another competition that's just gone live on Planet of Dreams, but I'll explain more about that towards the end of the video. So I'll let you continue watching, yeah? In fact, what we'll do now, I think, is we're gonna to cut to that section of the video. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go to Universal Clutches in Luton. So we're a few days later now, hence the long or slightly longer hair, and I'm on my way to Universal Clutches in Luton, right? But the funny thing is, obviously I'm going there today because the clutch is slipping on the 330D, yeah? But I drove this car home last night from Binka, and I could not get the clutch to slip. No matter what I do, I'm in higher gears at the minute, fourth gear, but if anything, it should slip there, shouldn't it? I don't know, we'll take it there anyway, see if they can find anything wrong with it. There was also a judder like in lower gears, second and third. Like a, almost like a, I don't know, it could have been like the drive shaft or even the exhaust mount might have been rattling or something, but it's not doing that now over, so I don't know. I'll take it there anyway, let them look at it and see what they conclude, yeah? Here we are, a few days later now, we've got the uh, 330D back. I think what I'll do is, I'll go and get Sir Hill, the fellow that owns this place, and I'll let him explain what he's done to the car, yeah? But he's, he's gone to town in it. Oh, there he is. Sir Hill! How you doing? What's going on, man? I'm all right, you? Yeah, this is uh, a serious setup here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But it's been here for like, must have been 20 years or something. 2002 we've been here. Really? The old dairy milk factory. So, really? Oh, it used to be what? Old dairy milk factory. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You've got so many ramps in here, haven't you? You've got C63 as well, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. You're going to do some bits to it, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to get it done next week, hopefully. Really? Yeah. We'll get a bit more power out of it, yeah? we get more power, straight um, straight pipe here. I'm trying to find some manifolds, but unlikely. Really? Yeah. Why? It's just expensive. <laughs> trying to save money when you're tuning is a difficult yeah, thing, isn't it? It's a hard thing. There's, um, I can buy IP exhaust, mm -hmm. but they want about £4,500 for it. Really? And that's second hand. I, mean, mate, I know about that, I've just done the arm tricks on the M6, haven't I? So, yeah, so anyway, 330D, so yeah. obviously I brought it here, I said to you the clutch probably weren't slipping, and there was a bit of a knocking noise underneath, I didn't know what it was. Have you had to change anything? What we had to do, take the roof off, take the gearbox out, check it. Uh, clutch was obviously worn down, uh, we looked at the fork and the pivot, they were worn down, um, bearing carry was worn, and also we found knocking noise possibly coming from the donut, pop okay. shaft donut. Uh, looking at that, and then it's all ripped from the edges. Of oh, the really? Bolts, so yeah. it's in quite a bad way then. Yeah, that's and that was what gave me that that rattle underneath, that knocking noise. That's correct. Yeah. You said you got it on the the old one on the floor over here. Yeah, yeah that's so correct. Yeah. We have a little look at it. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. So here's your prop shaft donut, as we call it. Mm -hmm. You see here, you've got all tears going around it. So all this deterioration is what's giving it all the movement. And the that's prop correct. Shaft yeah. Goes through the centre and, and then bolts on there. Then it bolts onto the flange of your gearbox. Okay. And then obviously your power train coming from the back. Yeah, it's all going through this also, and mm. then the prop, and then the new rear diff. So there was a, you can clearly see there was a lot of movement there. That's correct. There? Yeah. So you've done that. Done that. And then here we've got a clutch on the floor. We've, done, we've got your gearbox, and obviously clutch is knackered. You're down to the rivets. 
Sooner or later, that'll be slipping like mad. Really? Yeah. Ah, oh, what a that's, result, That's a man. clutch plate there. Yeah. That's your clutch cover. Obviously, mm -hmm. these springs should be compressed. And obviously, they're decompressed. Obviously, you can see they're out. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Uh, that's your release bearing. Obviously, sometimes that the squeals, but obviously, BMW, they're normally all right, to be honest. Obviously, that comes as your clutch kit. So you re replace the whole clutch kit. That's correct. Re replace the donut. Donut. This is your fork. That obviously where your release bearing sits on, see is worn there and worn there. Yeah. So obviously we changed it for you. Bloody hell. And then this is, your, man. this is your bearing carrier. If you look here, that's what the tube goes on against. So you run it up and down like that. Yeah. It's just scratched all the way it's through there. It's worn out, isn't it? And that's just a little pivot that goes with the fork. Obviously the end bit's a bit worn, so obviously. Fair play, man. You've proper gone to town on it, ain't you? Yeah, that's it. And I noticed you've done the window wipers as well. The window wipers too, I've got like them, yeah, we've done that for you. Oh, you're Got some aero blades on there. You legend, man. Yeah, well, hopefully, try good. Job done, man. Full power. Full, so right. Got loads of power. Oh, and I was gonna say it's an LUK clutch, isn't it? That's so you, correct. LUK you, clutch. Do you only do LUK clutches? We only mostly do with LUK. Um, but obviously, certain cars are only coming in value and sacks. Mm -hmm. It depends on what comes out, what goes back in. But mate, yeah, okay. Mainly, mainly LUK. LUK fitters, yeah. Cool. All oh, right, so I'll go for a little drive in it then. All no right. So then you drive it. Yeah. Take it Sam, thank you, mate. <laughs> Back in the three thirty D. Starts on the button. Brand new clutch. Brand new steering wheel, brand new tyres. This is such a good car. And you know what, these boys are, they're proper sound, man. Like I said, I've been dealing with them for a long time. Like, the whole time I've been a car trader, every time I've needed a clutch for one of my cars, I just bring it here. They're local to me and they just turn jobs around quickly. They pretty much only do clutches. They do a few jobs outside of that. Uh, but yeah, got a lot of love for these boys. And it, this is what this whole thing's all about. It's about love, support and encouragement. And these they're just like, so he was just like, Calvin, I know you're giving away that car. Obviously I spoke to him before this video went live. And he's like, yeah, man, I'll definitely, I'll put a clutch in it for you and get the car right before you give it away. So this is what this is all about. And I just love it, bringing everyone together. And as a result of it, everyone's gonna get a chance to win something. So uh, what I wanna do now really is I wanna have a go at doing my first drive in the car with the new clutch. So I'll stick my front camera on and we'll hit the road. We're in Luton Town Centre, by the way. Casino's just over the road there. There's the two brothers as well, Sahil and Ansa. Proper sound guys. Uh, I'll put links for them in the description below by the way and uh, I'll put a link to their Instagram as well. So if you wanna if you wanna clutch doing you wanna show them a bit of respect for what they've done for me today, um it'd be great if you could do that. So yeah, let's hit the road, have a little drive in the 330D. Second gear, loads of torque, feels wicked man. I don't know what way I wanna go, I wanna go this way I think. Yeah. Love diesel power. Uh, you know, what I was gonna say is I feel like I'm driving someone else's car. It doesn't even feel like my car now. There's something rattling around in the boot. But it's nice that that, that judge has gone now. The clutch is strong. You can just feel that the clutch feels a lot stronger. Uh, it's just all sorted. And I wanted to get the car right, obviously. I know I keep saying that, but I wanted to get it right before we give it away, because it's important, isn't it? It's important to get things right. So, and I want whoever wins this car to get a decent car. And I reckon this might go on for a hell of a long time. 163,000 miles. That ain't bad mileage for an old diesel BMW. It could have a hell of a lot of life left in it, especially after we've done everything we've done to it. <laughs> yeah, it feels so good, man. Even fourth gear, the amount of torque it's got. See, fourth gear is when I used to notice that drudder a lot more. So, like going at a, a slow speed in fourth gear, real low end, grunty sort of. You know, talk, you know, diesels have got a lot of torque at that that low end rev range, and the clutch would sometimes slip at that point, and it would give us a bit of a drudder there as well. And there is nothing now. It is driving so much better. So yeah, shout out to Universal Clutches. Obviously, shout out to you. Uh, VRS as well, they put a lot of time into this car and everyone mentioned, I will link them in the description below, but I think a lot of people are gonna be thinking, what's the catch, Cav, what's the catch? Why are you giving away your car for? There is no catch. This is something that I would love to do long-term, like I genuinely feel like I would love to go out and buy more cars, get them done up, and like people wanna show, show support by doing up the cars for me, 
or for you or however you want to look at it and it's content I can get out there show companies what they're about and or show you lot what certain companies are about get cars done up and give them away to you lot like I know it sounds crazy and it, it is a bit crazy but I can see it could have some longevity we'll see yeah could be completely bonkers um, I suppose the catch really is the car's not perfect it ain't a dream car uh, but I suppose like it's got a bit of rust on the front wing uh, side trim still hanging off it does need a valet I will give it a valet myself before someone wins it and uh, but there isn't really much of a catch is there it's a free car man Right then, sorry, cut back in again. So the competition that also went live on Planet Dreams, literally as this video went live, uh, is basically your car, Reg. They make number plates for your car, like gel plates, 4D plates, that kind of thing. They've offered to make a set of plates for the 330D. So the winner of the 330D is gonna get a set of gel plates on their car, all right? But also what your car, Reg, have offered is to make 10 sets of plates for 10 of you lot. So if you want a chance to win a set of 4D or gel plates, they're going to give you that option as well. Head over to the website at the end of this video because it's still a little bit to watch and enter that competition and we're going to announce the winner, 10 winners of 4D or gel plates next Friday, all right? So let's get back to the video. And who knows where this could end up? Like, this is the start of it. This is a £100 free 30D, but next time around we could do, be doing something better and then as time goes on, we could improve to bigger, better, more expensive cars, who knows? And I think that's the beautiful thing about a lot of things in life. Until you set off on that journey, you never know. New camera, and it's very, very dark. Even very dark. Um, it's brightening up now. But yeah, you never know where anything could end up. So, um, and like I said before, it's a way of you lot show love to me, I can then show love to companies, and then in return, I can show love back to you lot by giving you a chance of winning stuff. So. So it's a win-win for everyone, yeah? Uh, I think I'm done. Am I done? Have I covered everything? I think I have covered everything. The only thing I haven't really covered is the competition. When are we doing the draw? I think we'll probably do the draw. Um, I'm doing this free Friday thing, hashtag free Friday. I'll probably do the draw next Friday, so not this coming Friday. I'll leave it over, just over a week. And uh, yeah, we'll do the draw next Friday, all right? So if you want to be in for a chance, if you want to be in for a chance winning this car, head over to my website, planetdreams.co.uk, sign up, there's loads of free stuff on there, and enter the competition. It's one entry per person. All I would ask is, I know anyone can enter this competition, but I want to say to you that if you don't, <laughs> I've got someone behind me. Yeah, what I was going to say is the rules of the competition. I suppose there aren't really any rigid rules, but the main rules really are one entry per person. I don't want to, I don't want anyone to enter more than once because I want everyone to have a fair chance of winning. So it's only fair, it's a reasonable way of doing things. And uh, the other thing I was going to say was if this is this Planet of Dreams idea is not really it's not really something that everyone's invited to do. It's just people that support my channel and support my social media. Well, obviously, I'm not in control of who enters, but in, a, in an ideal world, I want someone who supports my channel, who watches my videos, who puts their time and goes out of the way into viewing my videos to win this car, because that's who deserves to win it, all right? So that's kind of a, a bit of an unwritten rule, uh, but like I said, I'm not really in much of control of who enters the competition, all right? So yeah. I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I think I'm going to end it here. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. Hit like if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to my channel for a new video every Wednesday and Sunday at six o'clock. New camera, by the way. I didn't say that. Uh, I did say that. I think I don't know. If I, did. I did say that. It's amazing, but it looks like I've got to change a couple of settings because maybe a bit dark but yeah new camera well happy with that i binned off the old one that was terrible and uh yeah that's it i'm gonna stop banging on now give me a follow on instagram at calvin's car diary and i'll see you in my next video all right bye in the next episode of diary of car trader we head back up to vrs to see how tony's getting on with the e46 m3 touring <laughs>